still at the same intersection. See, this must be uh, cars piling up um, at the railway crossing further down, where the cycleway crosses. So what number box are you up to today? Uh, well, I'm trying to finish box 10, which is the one that's full of hundreds, actually, invoices and accounts and bits of paper, receipts, each of which has to be numbered and to put on the database. Yes. So are these still um, accounts to do with what? The, What's well, the range the, of activity? This is um, in the 1940s, mm -hmm. 30s, 40s, I think I've got into the 40s now, um, often to do with land, really. Yes. So it's not to do with the mining or, or, or I've gone milling. past that. No, I've gone yeah. past the mining, the brick, uh, coal and brick company. The brick and coal company what figured a lot in the uh, earlier ones that I was doing. Because they were leased, you see. The McQueens and others leased the various mines. Yes. There was the Klondike, <laughs> Colgate. What what an unusual name for a coal, for a mine, Klondike. <laughs> there must be a Klondike mine in just about just every, every part of the part world. Here, yeah. I see that house there is still yes, up on stilts. It's yes, been like that for three or four weeks. There's a lot of work going into the, oh, more than that, um, yeah. a lot of work going into the foundation. Line, yes. Just to make sure that one house won't wobble too much. It's the main north railway line. Well, if you can hardly call it main north railway line. Christchurch Picton Railway. Now this is Strowan Road, isn't it? Yes. Yes. This is actually a lot slower than last week. Yes. It's amazing how just a few minutes difference, make a difference then your departure time can make a difference. Yeah, just before eight seems to be better. Yes. Well, you see, this is the next wave of traffic of people wanting to get to work at 8.30. It's 8.22. That's the Heaton Street Straven Road, is that? No, that's not Straven Road. What's that road there? Glendovie. Glendovie Road. And Heaton. Heaton, Glendovie. Corner. Intersection. Intersection, Strowan Road leading up to coming coming up to Russell Street. front here is on something. Why? It's been swaying from one side of the lane to the other. What, the grey one? This grey car, I let him in back there. She? No, no it's not, is it? She. You think so? Mm. I thought it was a fella. However... Oh, it looked like a woman we got drove in front. Gosh, the 
this road is severely patched, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. They're going to have to tackle it at some stage. No, it's a guy, this fella. This no, driver. this fella is a and guy. And he's very following the car in front of him extremely close. Too close. Mm. coming round the bend into Carlton Mill Road. What is the story about kids with cell phones at school these oh, days? Oh, I don't know, dog. Do they I have? Really I don't suppose know. they must have rules <clears> about <throat> oh, having they them have turned to have off. Rules. They couldn't have them sitting in class. But it, and it would be a um, a heck of a, a burden on the school yes. to have to take them, have them deposit their phone in a place every day, and collect them later. That would be a bit of a nuisance, wouldn't it? Although I suppose you could have a set, sort of a set oh, up with some, slots in it. Yes, I reckon. Now that's an interesting question though, I wonder. Yeah. Just coming up to the uh, Harper Avenue, is it? That's Harper Avenue. Harper there. Avenue on the right. Carlton. This is Carlton. Carlton Mill Road, Mill Road and then it, uh, on the left down here it turns into Beeley Avenue mm. and we'll go on to Park Terrace. Mm. I see the insistence on wearing school uniform in the street seems to have virtually disappeared now for a lot of the schools that used to insist on it. Why? Well, there was a girl going to Rangi, I suppose, and she was just wearing a tracksuit. Oh, oh, right. Gee. <laughs> there was no such thing as a tracksuit. No. You were at well, when I first wore my tracksuit on a sports day at the school athletics, the principal of the school looked down his nose at me as if to say, You're supposed to be in school uniform. And I was warming up to participate in athletic events. Mm, How about that? Mm. Change. <laughs> that was um, Joan's father, Mr. E. Mr. E. A. Coxon. He got used to it, of course. Well, it was a time in the nineties when I rolled up to um, Rusley wearing a tracksuit. Yes. A purple and yellow well, one. Well, the teachers became at times, I'm not sure that it's the same anymore, they became some of the worst dressed people in the community, especially the men, you know, jandals and t-shirts and sloppy uh, shorts and that sort of thing. Well, I don't think it's quite the same now. Did you see that sign? No. Goodbye Anadarko, we'll miss you. Yeah, right. Who? Anadarko, Who's the that? oil drilling. People. Oh right. They didn't find anything. No. So that's a Tui ad if you like. How many times have they tried to find oil in the Canterbury Bight and not no, found it? No, this was a Targo. Oh, a Targo, targo. okay. Or in the Cargo one or the other. But no, they didn't find anything. Well, they keep trying to find oil on the west coast, for example. Uh, and we know that there's been seepage of oil at uh, Kamara, Kamara and yes. Kotaku. Yes. Uh, uh, no, since before uh, European uh, settlement began, and they prospected there and never found it. You know, uh, John Montgomery, he was, in, he yes, was involved right. in the survey side of that. Park Terrace being relayed after the earthquake damage. I 
We're still getting you there on time, Alison. Oh, it's really yes. quite good. Oh, I think that's excellent. Anyway, when I walk in on a Friday, no one's there usually because they must be at a meeting. I don't oh, know. Okay. But I walk through an empty um, office workspace. Just coming up to the Yama Street Bridge into Hagley Park on our right. Now, is it next Friday that um, you have to be at home between... Uh, what's the date today? It's the 4th. 4 and 7. 11. 11. Yes, it is. But it, it may not have any effect at all. I mean, if they come uh, uh, between 12 and 4, yes. then there's no problem about no, picking you up. I'm not worried. No. Whatever happens, I will get home. Yes. Oh. Well, you, it'll give you a chance to check out the um, efficiency of the bus service at that time of the day. I've got to learn how to use the bus. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah, well, know. and you've also got to learn how to find the blooming timetables and the maps on the internet. Yeah. It's really quite difficult. No, well, I'd walk, um, I'd walk to the bus exchange from here. Yes. Right, we've now arrived outside the museum where Alison is going to spend her day doing voluntary work. There's the Great Hall of the old university, university. now the Arts Centre being repaired following the earthquake. And we'll stop the film at this point. <laughs>